An interesting question has come up this week about the tuning of SID chips, real ones and the modern replacements. If you're using an 8-bit sound chip to play music by itself, it doesn't matter whether it's perfectly in tune or not. But if you're using it as an instrument with other instruments, then they all have to be in tune with each other. We commonly use a system today of A equals 440 hertz, but this standard is surprisingly recent, and even today some groups will use a different tuning system for historical or other reasons. But it's very convenient to agree on a tuning, and A equals 440 is even an ASA and ISO. A MIDI SID user has raised the subject this week since he's found his to be a little out of tune with other instruments. I didn't understand this initially. When I originally developed MIDI SID, I did make sure that it was in tune. Then I realised that I've recently switched to a different SID replacement. The solution is simple. MIDI SID needs a universal tuning adjustment to calibrate for the type of SID the user has installed, or just to be able to tune it to something else. But first it'll be interesting to get a picture of what's going on with the tuning of a real SID and some of the replacements. To go back to the start, while some of the modern devices have their own internal clock and so are self-contained, the real SID relies on an external 1 MHz clock provided by the host computer. The Commodore 64 came in PAL and NTSC variants, but I only have PAL machines to test. This particular 40-year-old Commodore 64 is PAL and has its original SID. This basic program will set a triangle wave, the purest tone that the SID can play and therefore good for tuning, and play an A. I'm trying the values from my English language programmer's reference guide, which unfortunately seems to have values for NTSC machines, meaning that this is a little flat. If I edit the program and use some different frequency values from the German language manual, which is also PAL land, it's spot on. So we have two factors here, the frequency value that you send the chip and the approximately 1 MHz clock frequency that the host computer provides for the SID. As mentioned, not all modern replacements use that provided clock signal. Some have their own internal clock. I've switched to my 60 clone here because it has an ARM SID inside. This particular modern replacement does use the host computer's clock. And th this is also a PAL machine. And so it's no surprise that this behaves exactly as the real SID does, i.e. flat with NTSC frequency values from my manual and spot on with the values from the German manual. When I developed MIDI SID, I made sure that the table of frequency values built into MIDI SID produced in-tune notes for the nano swin SIDs that I was using at the time. They have their own clock and so will behave the same whatever machine they're in. I happen to have nano swin SIDs in this prototype MIDI SID Morpheus from my shelf. And here we are. MIDI SID does provide a clock signal for the SID replacements and real SIDs that may require it. Here we have an ARM SID which uses that signal and that's correct. And purely out of interest, here's a real SID in MIDI SID, and that's in tune too. However, with the Kung Fu SID, which I've recently switched to as a better SID replacement, it's 20 cents flat. The answer to all of this is simple. I'm adding a global tuning calibration right now. This is something that can be out of sight, but accessible if needed, and that I can set up in the factory, so it'll be useful if anyone changes the SIDs, but nothing to worry about if not. 
I've made this video to document my findings here. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. <laughs>